Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke. And it could be afternoon or in the middle of the night when you're watching us, too. But we're at the Cornerstone Project once again here. And we're with uh, Mackenzie Ham and Heather Ware Nelson here talking about the counter Cornerstone First Annual Arts and Giving Gala. What's happening on October 28th? Well, yes, this is going to be our first annual event, uh, which we're super excited about hosting here at the Frazee Event Center. And it's going to be focused on the arts. And we have been reaching out to local artists to see if they would donate some silent auction art pieces. And it's going to be fantastic to feature them because they are all local. And? Yeah, I'm really excited because um, yesterday I got to go see Andrea Frober, and um, she has, this is one of the pieces that she's donated. This is a felt piece, and then this is a quilt um, that she donated to us. And another quilt, um, Elise Anderson and Christine Daggett are going to be working with the youth, and they're going to be putting, each youth will be able to do their own square. They'll be making a quilt. Uh, Sharon Trigloff Johns will also be doing an art piece with all of the youth. And uh, um, so we're really trying to uh, focus on the arts because we have our art maker space, which is behind us, um, which is very exciting. I am the co-chair of that. My co-chair partner is Karen Downing, who also lives on Weimar Lake. And uh, so we've been really busy uh, getting uh, great food ready. Uh, we have Alicia Jopp and Patty, her sister, who will be doing uh, the food, uh, as well as we have some super exciting entertainment coming as well. So we have that Midwestern mom who will be performing that night, as well as we'll have two pieces uh, from the Frazy Choir, who will be doing a rent piece, as well as a piece from prom the musical prom so it's going to be a fun-filled night uh, filled with the arts and i'll let um mackenzie talk a little bit about the tickets so tickets are going to be going on sale today uh they are fifty dollars a person or you can purchase an entire table for five hundred dollars and then you can all sit there that's eight chairs with your friends uh these will be posted up around town here in Frazee and detroit lakes you can also um, purchase them online i will be putting it on our website as well we will have a live auction there with some live auction items silent auctions we will be having our raffle the food that was already talked about uh, we're thankful for that and then our entertainment great you know this is going to be a fun thing and i'm looking forward to seeing midwestern mob I am too. I just love Amber Estenson. She is so funny. Uh, she's She puts out um, great creative pieces and I'm excited to have her at our event. A couple other things that uh, we're working on is our raffles. We're going to have three raffles. We're going to have some um, great high-end purses. I know one of them already is a coach purse that we have um, filled with some surprises uh, then um, as well as a few other purses. Uh, we're also going to have a wheelbarrow full of beer just in time for uh, the end of October. So you can use that for your Oktoberfest weekend, I guess. Um, and <laughs> And then the last thing that we'll have on a raffle is uh, going to be Christine Daggett and um, the quilt that Elise Anderson is working on with the youth. And it's going to be a beautiful quilt. We've already seen uh, the pieces that she's going to be working on with the youth. As far as some of the live auction items, we're going to have a week at Carnell Estate on the lake. So, yeah, uh, we will also have a really fun dinner that will be hosted on Weimar Lake uh, by myself, Bill Daggett, and Missy Daggett. And it will be uh, incorporated with a pontoon cruise. And then it'll start uh, at Bill's and Elena's with uh, dinner or with appetizers. And then it'll move on to Missy Daggett's with uh, your dinner. And then finish at my house with dessert and drinks. And that's going to be a really fun um a live auction item that we have as well as a fishing trip uh, uh, to Florida. So um, that is uh, given by uh, Amber um, Bender and her husband. Oh, I'm sorry, Amber, but uh, the Benders. Yes. 
And so, I mean, we just have some really fantastic prizes uh, as well as our silent auction items that will be mostly items related to the arts given by artists. So this will happen on the 28th. Come at 5 p.m. for the social, and it'll be at the Frazee Event Center. So come on down to Frazee. And with that, we'll see you at the next segment on Spotlight on Frazee. Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. Frazee Family Foods, what a hometown grocery store should be. Friendly staff, family-owned, and a wide variety of groceries to fulfill your needs. The City of Frazee and Frazee Event Center, featuring a 5,000 square foot room, a built-in stage, and a full-service bar, perfect for a multitude of events. Call or click to book your event. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm up here at Frazee High School with band director, Brian Sealander. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. So, you know, it's fall, school's back. How many kids do you have now this year uh, in the band? Well, in high school, we're about 150 total between 7th through 12th grade. And uh, we, we split up into three different groups. We have 7th and 8th grade, which is about uh, 65. And uh, when uh, the numbers started to get pretty big, we, had to, we didn't have room for uh, all the kids in 9th through 12th like we used to. So we split it up into just 9th grade. And, and we get to kind of focus with them a little bit more and develop their skills for the next step up. And then uh, so there's, there's 30 of them in that group. And then uh, Symphonic Band is 10th through 12th grade. And we are at 60 right now. So great numbers yes that's that's really good so you've been uh, gaining yes yep yeah, uh, gaining and sustaining um, I know a lot of lot of schools through COVID lost a lot of kids and uh, uh, I think it was it was uh, good to see the numbers after that kind of come back to where they were before that and and keep keep kind of building on on what we had built before that so it's it great now you know of course I know you're always up for looking at venues for the band and what do you have coming up this year? Well, we have our big uh, Disney trip coming up in March. Um, right now we have about 70 kids signed up, with, uh, about 20 uh, parents to come along with and head down to uh, sunny Orlando, Florida in the middle of March. So uh, we're, I'm, I'm probably not going to make very many friends with this comment, but I'm hoping for a really harsh winter. So when it comes to March 15th, that sunny uh, Florida sun is going to feel pretty good. So. <laughs> Oh, it will. I mean, you know, you'll get down there and it'll be in the 80s. You know, it'll be just gorgeous. And I'll, I'll try to bring it back when we come back, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But uh, looking forward to it. It's a, it's a great trip for the kids, a great opportunity to see the world or our country. And, you know, a lot of them don't get these opportunities elsewhere. So uh, we get to perform in Magic Kingdom. Uh, we're doing a, a workshop with a director down in Florida with uh, working on some soundtrack music and then uh, actually getting to record that. Uh, and they put it with the, the movie that we're, we're doing that too. So really cool experience. We were supposed to do that uh, in 2020 on our trip and then COVID canceled our trip, obviously, but uh, we're, we're able to do it again this, this time with the group that we have going down. So I'm looking forward to that. I've, I've never done that before. So, Well, and I know a, a trip like this is, is not cheap for the, uh, the school or the, or the students or the families. So I, I'm assuming you're going to be doing some fundraising. Yes, we, uh, we currently have a fundraiser going right now. Um, it is through Cherrydale USA, which is uh, our fundraising company we use. Uh, we have uh, frozen food right now, cookie dough and ice cr uh, pizzas, um, as well as their online catalog, which has all kinds of uh, 800 different products, I think. Um, you can talk to a student, and they, they can send you the, the link to the uh, store and they'll ship it wherever you are if, if it's a non-perishable food item. Um, we'll also have candy bars coming in the next couple weeks. Uh, my kids love to, to sell candy bars, and, and I think a lot of people uh, have a hard time saying no to a ch uh, candy bar. So uh, I always use a little chocolate in our lives. Uh, and then um, we usually do our, our pancake breakfast in conjunction with the, uh, the um, Christmas festival down here in, in December. So we'll have that going on, and uh, yeah, we're, we've got a lot of things going on to help support these kids to, to be able to afford the, the trip, so. Well, you know, I, I know when I was a kid, we had to raise money. Uh, we went to Canada for the International Marching Band Contest, and we also went to Indianapolis for the 500. And I remembered I sold 200 boxes of candy and i was number two fundraiser <laughs> yeah 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 it's we we had a kid too uh, a couple of years ago that he he was I, I 
building up his uh, his salesman skills by selling candy bars. I think he sold about 45, 50 boxes on his own, and <laughs> everybody knew that he was he was the seller. So yeah, yeah. Well, and that that makes a big difference. You know, the kids got something invested in it, and. It's a once in a lifetime experience. It is. A lot of these kids, this will be the only time they get to go down, and and um, and even if it's not, at least they'll, they'll get to experience it. And same thing when, when we do the Chicago trip in the summertime too. Uh, every other year, uh, or in between our, our big sh uh, Florida trips, you know, just to get out and see some of those those places that they might not ever get to see. You know, it's it's a great opportunity for them. Well, I really appreciate what you do, Brian, and I appreciate you being on the program. Uh, you've done a tremendous job with the band. And I mean, we hear this from not just me, but other <laughs> people in the community. So thank you, sir. Yes, thank you, Hank. I appreciate it. So remember, look up this Cherry Deal Dale fundraiser. See what's going on. Help support the bands on their trip. Yes, they come out there and support us on, on all of our different things that we do in the community. And with that, remember, pet the dog, hug the kids, kiss the wife, wave at the neighbor. The next person you wave at might be your next best friend. We'll catch you next week on Spotlight on Frazee.